you have applied to dozens, maybe even hundreds of jobs, but the interview calls just never come. Sounds familiar? You're not alone. Many job seekers face the same problem, and the reason isn't always a lack of qualifications. The real culprit? Application Tracking System, or ATS. Companies use ATS software to filter through thousands of applications. If your resume isn't optimized for these systems, it might never even reach a human recruiter. That's where an ATS resume tracker comes in. This tool scans your resume just like an ATS would, highlighting formatting issues, missing keywords, and other factors that could be holding you back. Stop letting your resume get lost in the system. Optimize it with an ATS resume tracker and take control of your job search today. In this video, we'll be creating a powerful ATS resume tracker that not only analyzes your resume but also identifies issues and provides AI powered suggestion for improvement using Google's generative AI. So stay tuned till the end. But before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content on Edureka's YouTube channel. Edureka's Generative AI course Master's program helps you master the principles of generative AI and implement them in real-world applications. This course includes training on artificial intelligence, Python programming, data science, natural language processing, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and more. This course includes five plus hands-on projects to help you apply what you learn in real-world scenarios. The curriculum is meticulously designed by industry experts based on an analysis of 5,000 plus global job description. Edureka's Generative AI and ML Postgraduate Program, designed by industry experts, prepares you for roles like Senior Machine Learning Engineer and AI Research Scientist. With 9 plus projects, 15 plus use cases, and 100 plus hands on labs, the program covers key concepts like Python, Machine Learning, Deep Learning, Text Mining, and NLP to strengthen your AI and ML skills. Alright, let's get started. What exactly is an ATS and why does it matter? An ATS or Applicant Tracking System is a software used by companies to filter and rank resumes before they reach a human recruiter. It scans for keywords, formatting and structure, rejecting resumes that don't meet its criteria. Common issues like missing keywords, complex formatting or improper file types can get your resume discarded instantly. That's why ATS optimization is crucial. It ensures that your resume gets past the filters and into the hands of hiring managers. Now that you know what ATS is, have you ever wondered how an ATS processes resume in the backend? Here's how it works. When you submit your resume, the ATS parses the content, extracting key details like your name, contact info, skills, and work experience. It then compares your resume against the job description, looking for relevant keywords and formatting that matches the role. Next, it scores your resume based on keywords relevance, structure, and readability. If your resume doesn't meet the system's criteria, whether due to missing keywords, complex formatting, or incorrect file types, it might get filtered out before a recruiter ever sees it. That's why optimizing your resume for ATS is so important. By structuring it correctly, including the right keywords, you can boost your chances of getting past the filters and into the hands of hiring managers. Now the question is, will companies keep using ATS Tracker in the future? The answer is a resounding yes. The future of ATS Tracker is evolving fast. As hiring becomes more data-driven, companies are relying on ATS software more than ever to streamline recruitment. With AI and machine learning advancing, ATS systems are getting smarter, analyzing not just keywords but also context, experience and even writing style. Will companies continue using ATS? Absolutely. As job applications increases, businesses need efficient ways to filter top talent. For job seekers, this means ATS optimization isn't just a trend, it's becoming a necessity. Adapting to these changes can give you a real edge in landing interviews and securing your dream job. Now, the part which you're desperately waiting for, our own ATS. So for that, open your VS Code or any code editor and let's get started. Let's start by creating our ATS resume tracker project. First, we need to set up a condo environment to manage our project dependencies. To do this, we open the terminal and run the following command. We'll write conda create hyphen p vnv python equals to 3.10 hyphen y. So here, conda creates a new environment. First, we'll need to import all the required libraries. These will help us handle PDF processing, environment variables, image conversion, and interactions with Google's Gemini AI model. 
will write import base64 and import io. These are used for encoding and decoding the resume PDF into an image format for processing. Then from .env will import load underscore .env and then load underscore .env. This will help us load API keys securely from a .env file. Then we'll write import streamlit as st which is used to build the website based ATS tracking system. Then import os and from pil import image and then import pdf to image. This will convert the pdf files into images and then import google.generativeai as genai which connects the google's gemini ai for resume analysis. Next, we'll configure the Gemini AI API by retrieving the API key from environment variables. We'll write genai.configure in the bracket API underscore key equals to os.getenv and in the bracket Google API key. os.getenv fetches the API key from the .env file to ensure security and genai.configure initializes the connection to Gemini AI. Now, we'll define a function that takes user input, the extracted PDF content, and a prompt that sends it to Gemini AI for analysis. We'll write def, then get underscore Gemini underscore response in the bracket input, comma PDF content, comma prompt. Then model equals to Gen AI, generative model, in the bracket Gemini 1.5 flash. Response equals to model generate underscore content in the bracket input comma pdf content zero comma prompt and then return response dot text. Gen AI dot generative model calls the latest Gemini flash vision model. Model dot generate content feeds job description, resume content, and a prompt to Gemini AI. Return response dot text extracts and returns the AI generated response. Now let's create a function to process the uploaded PDF. We'll write def input PDF setup in the bracket uploaded file. Then if uploaded file is not none, this is to convert the PDF to image. Then we'll write image equals to PDF to image dot convert from bytes in the bracket uploaded file dot read in the bracket uploaded file dot read then first page equals to images in the bracket zero this is to convert to bytes image byte array equals to io dot bytes io then first page dot save in the bracket image byte array comma format equals to jpeg then image byte array equals to image byte array dot get value then pdf paths equals to square bracket and then curly bracket mime underscore type colon image slash jpeg and then data colon base64 dot b64 in code in the bracket image byte array dot decode this is to encode to base64 then we'll close both the brackets and then return pdf paths else raise file not found in the bracket no file uploaded the pdf to image dot convert converts the pdf into images First underscore page selects the first page, which usually contains the main resume content. io.bytes prepares the image for conversion. And first page.save saves the resume as JPEG. Base64.b64 encode the image to Base64, which is required for AI processing. This function converts the uploaded PDF resume into an image format, encodes it in Base64, and prepares it for processing by Gemini AI. Let's set up page configuration first. For that, we'll write st.set underscore page underscore config in the bracket page title equals to ATS resume expert. And let's keep the layout as centered. 
Then let's add the page header. We'll write st.markdown in the bracket h1 style equals to text align center colon color. Add the color of your choice and then ATS tracking system and close the h1 tag. Then unsave underscore allow underscore html equals to true. Then in the next line, st.markdown in the bracket, enter job description below. Enter job description below. Then we'll put the job description input. We'll write input text equals to st.text underscore area in the bracket job description key equals to input comma height equals to 200. ST.set page configuration sets the page title for stream data. ST text area provides a text input area where users can paste a job description. Now, if a file is uploaded, we notify the user that the PDF was successfully received. For that, we will be creating a checking PDF upload status. For that, we will write uploaded file equals to st.file uploaded in the bracket upload your resume. PDF only, comma, type equals to PDF. Then, if uploaded underscore file is not none, colon, st.success in the bracket resume uploaded successfully. If uploaded file is not none, checks if a resume was uploaded and st.success displays a success message. Now, let's create buttons for different ATS functions. We will be adding three buttons that lets user analyze their resume, improve skills or check the ATS match percentage. We'll write first button colon 1 comma colon 2 equals to st.columns. Then with column 1, we'll write submit 1 equals to st dot button in the bracket tell me about the resume. Then with column 2, we'll write submit 2 equals to st dot button in the bracket how can I improve my skills. st dot button creates the buttons for three functionalities. Tell me about the resume, general evaluation. How can I improve my skills, suggest the ways to improve. Now, we'll be defining the prompt templates. We'll define two different prompt templates for Gemini AI. One for general resume evaluation and another one for percentage based ATS coding. I have already created the prompt, so you can use your own prompt using Gen AI models like GPT or Gemini. The input prompt one makes Gemini AI act like an HR manager to evaluate the resume. And input prompt two makes Gemini AI act as an ATS scanner, providing a match percentage and missing keywords. Now, let's handle button clicks and calling Gemini AI. When a user clicks a button, we check if a resume is uploaded, process it and send it to Gemini AI and displays the response. For that, we'll write if submit one, colon, if uploaded file is not none. Then, PDF content equals to input PDF setup in the bracket uploaded file. Response equals to get Gemini response. In the bracket, input prompt 1, comma PDF content, comma input text, comma input text. Then, we'll write st.subheader in the bracket, the responses is, and then st.write in the bracket, response. Else, st.write in the bracket, please upload the resume. Then, lf submit to colon if uploaded file is not none. Then PDF content equals to input PDF setup in the bracket uploaded file. Then response equals to get Gemini underscore response in the bracket input prompt to comma PDF content comma input text. Then st dot subheader in the bracket the responses is then st dot write in the bracket response. Else, st.write in the bracket, please upload the resume. If tell me about the resume is clicked, Gemini AI evaluates the resume. If how can I improve my skills is clicked, Gemini AI suggests the improvements. If no resume is uploaded, it prompts the user to upload one first. So now is the testing time. We will open the terminal and write streamlet run app.py. And it's running. First, let's upload job description from LinkedIn. Now, let us upload our resume and check. 
and boom. It's giving everything we need as you can see the description and suggestions using Generative AI. This is the best example of an ATS agent using Gen AI. So, in conclusion, this code effectively builds an AI-powered ATS resume tracker with Streamlit and Gemini AI. It allows users to upload resume, get professional AI-driven feedback, see ATS match percentage, and improve their resume with AI insights. We have come to an end of ATS resume tracker project. If you have enjoyed listening to this video, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them as soon as possible. Look for more videos and playlists and subscribe to Edirica's YouTube channel to learn more. Happy learning!